Let's look at the category class first. There are three data items to hold the strings of the three attributes. Now these are not strictly required to have the same names as the attributes, but there's no reason to name them anything else. Notice that they all have default values that are used when attributes are not being specified. It is required that the methods that set the categories have the same names as the ones in the TLD and in the JSP. Notice the word set has been added to the front of the name of each one and the first letter of the name itself has been capitalized. Now this is all done internally and the method name is found that way. So the names of these methods are important. They've got to match or they will never be found. Here are three more methods that have matching names. These are the get methods. Their names are derived the same way and the names must match or they will not be found and this is the only way the JSP processor has of retrieving the information for the attributes. The do start tag method works the same as it did in the previous example. It generates the output. In this example it just outputs a line with the text of the three attributes on it. Everything else is the same as it was before, but something has been added to this class. The method release has been added to restore all the attributes to their default values. It can happen that a second tag request comes in while this object still exists from a previous request. Setting things back to their default values will let the new request start from scratch instead of picking up some of the old values from the previous request. The other tag handler works a bit differently. This one has no do start tag method. It does everything inside a do after body method. At the top of this method, the text included inside the tag, that is the text of the body of the tag, is retrieved. This body text then is displayed as it is at the beginning. Then an output string is constructed that contains the same text after it has been reversed. These two lines of text are output to the HTML page. And that's it. Let's look at what this code produces. Here you can see the lines of text produced by the tags. This first line is produced from the category tag being supplied values for all three of its attributes. This second line did not specify any attributes. Instead, it let all three of them default. Remember that little method named release? It set everything back to the default values after the first line was displayed, so nothing would be left over from that first line and show up here. Here, only one of the attributes was specified. The other two were allowed to default. Now, these last two lines were produced by the reverse tag. It displays the line of text twice, once forward and once with all the characters reversed.